Hey, you there. I got a question for you. Do you guys have your Facebook pixel set up yet? What is up assassins? Welcome to today's video. I got my blue shirt on. We're doing Facebook Pixel. I don't know why when I think Facebook Pixel I think of bright blue. So I wanted to match it up, sync it up today for today's lesson. So the Facebook Pixel is an extremely powerful piece of tracking code that is going to allow you to do a lot of capable things as far as retargeting people and really honing in on your audience and telling what is actually happening on your landing pages. So this is a video that is very important for people that use landing pages, or if you just have a website up or anything like that, you have got to get your Facebook pixel up and ready and ready to go. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that today, step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna take care of all of it for you. It's gonna be very, very simple. Let's rock right into it. So we have our business manager here. You're in the business manager section. Real simple, knock down this drop down area. We're gonna go over to all tools and we're gonna to go to pixels. And this is our Facebook pixel. I guess Facebook likes green. So my blue was totally off color, but it's the effort that counts, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and create a pixel just like that. Oh, that's blue, that works. And we're gonna name this Jerry Morris pixel. That sounds great. For your website, you can go ahead and put that there. That is optional, and we can go ahead and create. And that's loading, loading, perfect. Okay, and as this is going, guys, I want you to understand, again, a little more of the importance of this pixel. It's, it's extremely important because we need to know what pages users are visiting, how many people are visiting these pages, how many people make it to the next page, you know, what is our conversion rate? Let's say that you guys have a website going right now and you guys are generating leads for paid traffic or non-paid traffic. You guys need to know of those 20 leads that you got from this website, how many of them actually hit the page and went through? Because if you got 20 leads, but it took you 500 clicks to get 20 leads, that's very bad, okay? That's a very bad conversion rate. Now on the other side, if it took you 100 clicks, to get 20 leads, that's a 20% conversion, that's pretty good, okay? And that's where the, the difference is between people who are really good at this and people who just can't figure this stuff out because if your page is not set up for conversions and it is not converting, you are literally killing yourself. Think of the difference of 500 clicks to 20 people and that's at 4%, okay? Compared to 100, 100 clicks at 20 people, that's at 20%. If you were to get that 500 clicks up to 20%, that is going to take you to 100, okay? That is a difference, 20 to 100, 20 leads to 100. That is a huge difference for just 500 people. Now imagine when you start scaling this over a month or over six months or over a year or over three years, the conversion rate is extremely important and 20% is kind of the industry benchmark, the, the spot. And the way that you can track that is using this Facebook pixel, all right? So you have this install pixel here. You can do a, uh, a connect a platform. So like Wix and Squarespace and some of these have a basically a custom integration where you just click a button, you log in and boom, it syncs everything. That's great. I personally like to manually install the code myself because I wanna know where everything is going. So I'll show you guys how to do that route. So click manually, so I'll code. All right, so now we have a header code right here. This is the main code that is gonna go on the main header area of your website. Now I'm not gonna go in too in depth, like very, very strictly in depth on what the stuff is. It's more conceptually what the pixel is, but I will, I will give you a general understanding. So let's go ahead and go to one of my sites here. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay. So here we are inside of one of our uh, opt-in forms, one of our funnels here. And this is probably something similar to what you, a lot of you guys are using, right? You're using a, a home page, and you guys are using a lead collection area and you're going to a thank you screen. That's the basics of lead generation, right? So what you need to do is you need to install this pixel in the header area. 
So you can click to copy and you need to find the header area for your particular website building uh, thing, whether you're Wix or ClickFunnels or WordPress or whatever it is, you're gonna have an area where you can install the code into the header. Okay, so for me, for ClickFunnels, it's right here. So you're just gonna paste that code in there, like you can see, just like that, which is pretty cool. And now if we go into, let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, always save that, I'm not gonna save it because uh, I don't want that code in there. And so now we have this site right here. And now what you wanna do is you wanna create custom options for each and every page. So what you'll do is, is once that's up, you will test the traffic, send test traffic, and you'll just type in your URL here. So I would type in adassassins.com and I would hit test. And that would activate green if I installed the code correctly. And you need to test that because if it's not reading, then you're not gonna get any results, which kind of sucks, all right? So let's go ahead and hit continue. And let's go ahead and manually install the code event. All right, now with this, you have a couple of options. So this one's an e-commerce and retail option. Uh, there's an automotive, education, media services. It doesn't matter what the title of this says, it matters what buttons you like, what text you like, okay? So for example, you see this view content, there's a search, there's add to wish list, there's add to the cart. So each and every one of these is basically a different category. So for the view content, I put the view content, I use the view content on all of my pages that are the front pages. So front, my home page of my website, or the first page of an opt-in form, or whatever the first page is that someone clicks and they land on it, for me, that is view content, okay? So what you can do is if you like this set of ones, but when you change this, like you'll see what happens, these change a little bit, okay? Find ones that you like, and let's see, so completed registration, that looks good. Uh, yeah, this one looks fine. So view content, I'm gonna click this drop down and you're gonna see small pieces of code. Here, the same thing. So we're gonna click this, and you're gonna go into the actual page that you want to put this on. So we'll go edit page, and I'm just gonna show you guys one of my, my lead collection areas, which is totally cool. Uh, it's an intro to business manager. Actually, if you guys want the intro to business manager, I'm gonna leave it down below, okay? I'll leave it down below, you guys can actually see this page live and see how it works. Pretty cool, it's pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna go into the tracking code. Yep, there it is right there. And I'm just gonna paste this code right here. Boom, just like that. And now that anytime somebody hits this, that's going to fire a view content. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. So now we have the header code installed. We have a view content code installed on the opt-in page. And now we want a thank you screen pixel to install because if somebody reaches the thank you screen, we can make a very good assumption that that person actually went through and opted into whatever we want them to opt into. So if they are a customer of yours or a potential prospect, they had to opt in to actually go to this thank you screen, right? So we need a trigger for that. So for this, it can be complete registration. So right here, we're gonna copy it to clipboard and we're gonna do the same thing on the setup page. And this is how Facebook tracks the conversion. Okay, they go and they say, okay, this person hit the view content page, but they did not hit the complete registration page. That means they didn't convert. But if a person hit the view content page and then they hit the complete registration page, that means they went through. They don't need to know the user's information or anything else if that sequence of the user was view content and then complete registration, they understand that the person opted into what you're looking for and that's the information that you are looking for. You wanna know, did this person opt in or not? Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now we have that set up. Uh, again, you have our, all of our, this is our thank you screen basically is what this is. Yours is gonna look different. Maybe your thank you screen is like call us or uh, schedule an appointment now, 
Those are two great ones to have on your guys' particular thank you screen. Don't just leave it blank. That's a terrible waste of everything. If you guys have a thank you screen and people are opting in to the thank you screen, you want to get them to take another step because maybe this person is ready to buy right now and you're just like, thank you, we'll call you sometime, like, see you later. And they're just like, okay, I'll go off and I'll play softball and I'm gonna go hang out and drink some beer with my husband, Bob, and then that's it. They don't care anymore when you call them two days later, right? So give them another option on this thank you screen, please. Please, for all of our sake, okay? Can't beg you enough. So we have the opt-in, we have the thank you screen. That's cool, that's all set up. Now, on the Facebook Pixel side, again, you can, you can do all of these. So if you guys are doing something like uh, an actual payment, you would put the initiate checkout would be on the payment page, right? Where it says, would you like to buy the course? And they say, yes. And it goes to the payment page. And it's like, okay, here they have initiated checkout. The purchase would be on the thank you screen from the purchase. Okay, does that make sense? All this stuff making sense? And it's really important to do this, even if you guys aren't planning on going heavy into this. If you guys have a website, please put this on now because even if you take 30 minutes and you set your whole website up with a pixel and Google Analytics is another good one. If you guys set that up now and you don't use it for the next six or 10 months, in six or 10 months where you're like, hmm, you know what? I want to use the Facebook pixel. You have now tracked all the data over the last six, 10 months, 12 months, whatever it is, and it's all sitting there waiting for you to utilize it, okay? So even if you guys are not using the Pixel and don't wanna go this granular on it, that is fine. Please though, install the Pixel code because one day you're gonna thank me. It's gonna be like 12 months from now and you'll be like, dude, Jerry, I listened to your video and I actually listened. Like, man, this is really cool stuff. I'm using it now, okay? So you're gonna hit done. And once this is done, you're gonna have this area that actually you know shows the Pixel data. Right now there's no Pixel data because there's nothing in here. I haven't, I haven't triggered any events, but as people visit your landing page, it's gonna trigger that view content. And as people visit the opt-in page, it's going to trigger that they completed the registration. Why is that really important to you and really cool to you? So here is where you take it to the next step, okay? You create a custom audience based off of the pixel. And why would you do that? I'm gonna show you exactly why you do that. So let's go ahead and create an audience a custom audience, and let's see here. Must sign the pixel to that account. Okay, it's not gonna let me do it. I'm, I'm gonna be able to do it right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna do it a different way. But anyways, you're gonna create a custom audience, and I'm gonna do that a different way right here. And if you guys haven't watched the custom audience video on lead forms, you guys should definitely go ahead and watch that because it's kind of like this, but a little bit different. Your custom audiences, are basically information from that pixel. And I'm not gonna go to, it like, I'm not gonna go step by step on this, but conceptually, this is how you would do it. You would create a custom audience and you would base it off of people who fired your pixel, which is website traffic, just like this. And I don't have the pixel set up, which is gonna say, go ahead and set this up. But what you would do is you would say, Facebook, I wanna target, I wanna create an audience of people who hit my landing page, but did not hit my thank you screen, okay? So they have hit the landing page, not the thank you screen. That means that they're clearly interested in what you have to offer, but they just didn't go through. And now what you wanna do with that is you wanna send them to a different landing page or use a different advertisement to get them in. But you can clearly tell that this person is interested in what you're actually talking about when they hit your landing page, okay? When they click and go to the landing page, they clearly want more information and are interested in what you're asking, okay? But you just didn't provide enough to actually make them convert. And that happens, you lose a lot of people. Typically, you know, if you're converting at 20%, you're losing 80% of the people to just, they just leave. You know, that's, that's normal. Okay, if we can retarget those, you're gonna get a really, really high conversion for your advertisements, okay? Compared to the audience size, the conversion is gonna be really, really high on that retargeting option. The other amazing thing that you can do, amazing thing that you can do, is you take the audience who did complete the registration, okay? Did complete the registration. And from that, 
you create a lookalike audience. And what a lookalike audience is, is basically it's taking all the characteristics of that one individual and finding people who look exactly like them. Okay, I did a whole other video on lookalike audiences. Go ahead and watch that if you guys are interested. It's actually in the lead form video. Watch that video. Um, it's very good and it's gonna give you guys all the extra stuff that I'm talking about. Um, but basically, when you create that lookalike audience, it's going to find people who look exactly like the person who opted in. And when you have a thousand people who opted into your advertisement and you say, hey, Facebook, find me people who look exactly like these thousand people, your audience is gonna be awesome. Okay, it's gonna be freaking awesome because now it searched the whole United States and it found you those exact people and then you could target inside of you know, Columbus, Ohio or wherever you wanna do and it's gonna pick out those people who have the most in common with the people who opted in. Okay, demographically, characteristically, how much money they make, where do they live, all kinds of stuff that we don't have access to and you can't even fathom how much information Facebook has and when you create that lookalike audiences, it utilizes the power that Facebook has for you, okay? I know the end there, that was probably a very complicated description of custom audiences and lookalike audiences. Go watch the Lead Forms video. If you want more information on custom audiences, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know, say, Jerry, this was really cool, but I'm still confused a little bit on what you were saying about custom audiences because Probably just wasn't enough for you guys to fully conceptualize it, but I think you guys get the gist of it and you guys can really see the power. If you take away one thing from this, if you have a website, please install your Pixel and your Google Analytics. I don't have a video on Google Analytics yet, but I will work on getting that to you guys as well. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are killing it this week. Hope you guys are doing fantastic, that's all. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it, if you appreciate it. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. Cool? See you guys in the next one.